Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Why are you so close, man? Scoot over. Oh. <laughs> All right. So today's show, well, it's a unique one. We've never done this before. And, well, the Super Bowl just happened this past week in our hometown. Tampa Bay! Won the Super Bowl. I'm not a sports guy. Tom and Jerry. I don't watch it for the sports. I don't watch it for the sportsmanship. I was super psyched. You know, it's like I'm a supporter in the fact that, like, go Tom Brady, go. You know, life goals. I'm all about life goals. Everyone should have an awesome life goal. And, hey, greatest of all times for sure. What does the Super Bowl mean to you? To me, commercials. Now, most of you have probably had time to watch the commercials because they're on the air. They're all over the place. Some people watch them on YouTube. And, well, we made a list of our favorite commercials. If you haven't seen these, by all means, just hit up YouTube and follow them. Or watch them, I should say. How long is it follow them? Watch them. Yeah. So let's hit it. Let's go through your favorite, my favorite, and of course, we want to know which ones are your favorites because mm -hmm. this is a dialogue, just a fun thing. So by all means, leave it in the comments what you thought was the greatest, best, funniest, suck the most. I don't care. Just leave something in the comments about what you thought. Before we get started, I will say this. I think these are some of the best commercials that we've seen in years on the Super Bowl. Yeah. Generally, most of them made me laugh. There was like two or three that like pulled at my oh so small heartstrings. It was like, oh, no. There was a couple. There was no movie ads. We yes, knew. There was. was. There was? Mm -hmm. But there was Netflix that and was like Disney TV. Plus. Yeah, that's not, I meant movie, like Blockbuster. There was There was no like. No, it was freaking Queen Latifah. Yeah, Equalizer commercials, which is Edward Woodward for life. True player. What was your first? My first one? Wait a minute, hold on. This is, this is the difference here. I wrote oh, mine down. She put hers on her phone. Wait, my first one was the Eminem commercial. Sorry. Where they said, where they were sorry. Karen. Yeah. I'm sorry I called you Karen, but my name, name is Karen. Karen. Well, I'm sorry your name is Karen. She got two bags. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought that was an awesome one too. We both had that one on the top of our list. It was like the first commercial out. It was almost like that first touchdown when you're like, dude, they just scored right, right away. And like the first commercial out was awesome. And you're like, we're screwed because like if they let that it's one go first here. it's true that wasn't the case now not all mine i wrote down as great funny commercials some of them commercials kind of sucked and the first one that i thought was like huh, was the logitech commercial if you've ever bought software before either an app on your phone or an app for your device i always show you the coolest things ever that these apps can do i buy a lot of like drawing apps and stuff like that for creating the artwork that you could create on this app and i don't know what ninja could possibly create this artwork like i'm just excited to draw a circle and then add a gradient There's or something a lot like of that people now that Super have, talented. Yeah. But you see this $4 app and you're like, yeah, I'll never be able to do a, a, a hundredth of that. I just don't think you have the time to try. I thought the Logitech commercial was a lot like that. It was boring. It reminded me of a software, like, slideshow thing. And it was just like, if you buy Logitech stuff, you could be the next coolest star ever. You could sing songs and make podcasts and do this. And it's like, yeah, whatever. I still laughed was laughing because of the internal dialogue that was going on in my head, not what I was actually watching. All right, what was your next one? I thought the one about space was pretty cool. Oh, go to space? Where you have the chance to go to space. Yeah. I think that's pretty sick. All right. Not that it was like a good commercial, but No, like, I didn't even know wow, what the hell was going on. I ticket to space I was, was the last thing I heard, and I said, okay. I thought it was <laughs> like, because really cool. they kept like doing the like pan and tilt shots. Yeah, I wasn't really like, sure it was going on. Are we, I thought it was a close at it first i thought they were like selling some form of clothes i didn't really pay attention to the commercial until the last second then it was go to space and i said sign me up okay cool uh will there be barf bags included do they have inside windshield waffers so washer that squirts up and cleans out my mask <laughs> as i puke Gross. The one I felt good about, I had a feel good, found it very uplifting, was the DoorDash with Big Bird and Sesame Street. I liked it. I thought it was unique. Not all these are going to be funny. I thought it was a good idea. Felt very community. I'm not a fan of Big Bird. I was afraid of him. You weren't afraid of him. He I, got lost. I, I don't Big know Bird why. Maria. Every... Big Maria. Bird goes to the mall. Oh my gosh. She I cried. I cried every, every single time. time. And I don't 
know why. It was so funny being the dad. I, I made her watch it over child, and over again. I cried. And she would ask to watch it. Like, She's mental. mental. I don't know if I was scared that it would happen to me. But you know, I, I mean, know. like, it was just you so never, Every ever time I cried. got anywhere out of our sight in the mall. I mean, I was like, I on you like stink on a turd. The one that I thought was unique, but they never ended, was the Wolf Ferrell GM one, where like they were going to Norway or wherever the heck they were going to. They, they never finished it though. Like it never. Like it was supposed to be like there was, a story. There was supposed, the yeah, there was supposed to be, and it never finished. I mean, it was like they got Will Ferrell, and then it was like, oh, by the way, we ran out of money. We're not gonna finish it. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, sorry. Electric car is really not gonna be that cool. Sorry. And then they did the Edward Scissorhands ripoff one. That was Cadillac. Yeah, oh, that was yeah, still Gene. Yeah, yeah, he was driving a yeah, Cadillac. That's I okay. Forgot. All right, what do you got? The Dor 3D Dorito one with ah, Matthew McConaughey. That, that, was, that was my next one, too. I I'm like, that one. I was waiting for it when he ate it inside the machine and he was gonna, like. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I was like, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, seeing Matthew McConaughey do something other than a Lincoln commercial was kind of oh, nice. God. But it was almost like the same Matthew McConaughey where he's just like, when you have meaning. I think that's just life, him. And you want to be something more. I was just happy because the Dorito commercials are always the best commercials for me. I still like the and one with the time machine. Yeah, that one's good. Lately, they've been really bad or non-existent, so at least we got one good one. Chipotle saving the world. That Chipotle can make everything go better. Let Chipotle win the I fast hate food how you wars. Say it. Chipotle. It's so wrong. I it's so is the food. <laughs> it's so wrong. I am not a Chipotle fan. I've tried it many times. They worship the ground I that don't it, like the it Chipotle that much grows from. No. Chipotle and Chipotle. Well, it's because you like ate them like years and it's I like you it's wore good. them out. Corona might have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Killed your taste don't buds. Get it. Yeah, totally. Ten out of ten. I just thought it was funny. It's like Chipotle will save the world. It will grow. It will give us air and clean water. Go eat their fast food. Not. Nah. What was yours? Um, the State Farm commercial with Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahone and <laughs> Drake and Jake from State Farm. So how many of you out there caught that commercial? And Haley brought up an interesting point. She goes, "Do you think they filmed that when they thought like Green Bay was gonna beat us? Because that would have been the matchup, right? Yeah. Well, they were like Tom Brady's not." gonna pull this out tom brady destroyed okay. dreams this year guys <laughs> fernando and i are in the install bay when that whole thing started and we're like yeah we'll make it maybe the first round of the playoffs if we're lucky we're not gonna win the super bowl we were wrong and so was everyone else cower was the only one that was right coach cower was the only one that was right and i'm not a Steeler fan but hey he gets that one day where i'm like you the man coach <laughs> You the man. Rocket Mortgage with Tracy Morgan. Oh, there was two of them, and they were both hilarious. I like the one with Batista, because, like, I like Batista. I think he's cool. I worked on some of his cars. I liked the Tracy Morgan. I like Tracy Morgan anyways. I'm pretty sure it was a good commercial. Both of them were good commercials. Why do you say it like that? He obviously didn't like the commercial. No, I liked the commercial. I liked it a lot. I thought it was then funny. Then you would have got that. Got what? I'm pretty sure it was good. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Your sarcasm went right over the no, short hair. No, because of mine. the whole commercial. I was pretty was sure. Like, pretty sure. Do you want to be sure or pretty it's sure? It's not funny anymore. I had to explain. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Sure. What do you got? I like the E Trade one. Which where one? the boy was working out. I wrote that like, one down, I didn't too. understand why it's free trade, but I mean, the point I, of it was funny. Yeah, it was It was funny. It was cool. It was touching. It's and just this little boy trying to beef up. Get big and strong like ox. <laughs> it's yeah. doing terrible. It's like Spongebob trying to go to the gym. <laughs> Doesn't work. Living like Larry. <laughs> Woo! Living oh like gosh, Larry. <laughs> the one that gets the most touching award, damn, that was deep, is the girl with no legs. The adoption okay. one. The Olympian. Well, yes, I'm sorry. I, I wrote notes and it just uh, yeah, said the Olymp the Paralymp para Olympian who was a swimmer and whose adopted parents. Time medalist. Yeah, that one. She's cool. Was, I her on Instagram. That one was like, oh my god, I gotta turn away because. <laughs> Okay, stop being dramatic. I'm not. It was yes, touching. You, are. you would never cry. But it was still touching. Okay. Can, can I appreciate yeah, that? You're, like... <laughs> you're the worst. My next one was I thought the T Mobile one with Adam Levine, Gwen Stefani, and Blake Shelton was funny. Are you wearing Spurs? Yeah. 
<laughs> Did you come on because a horse? Because if you watch The Voice, you know that Adam Levine and Blake Shelton have this ongoing friend beef. So it was just like funny. Is it is it a bro feud? But it's not even like they hate each other. They just like pick fun at each other and it's really funny. That's how guys are. Yeah, but like... See, girls can't do but that. But this is... Guys can do that. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, but they but don't I mean, get it. Why is Haley acting like that? Yeah. We've gotten that phone call. But whatever. <laughs> Let's Uber see. Eats with Wayne's World. Wayne's World! Wayne's World! Woo! 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 Big Wayne's World fan. Sha! Eat local. Bit of trivia. Wayne's World saved Bohemian Rhapsody. Or the other way around. Bohemian Rhapsody saved Wayne's World. It also brought back the joy of the gremlin, the car. Okay. And air guitar was, you know, pretty awesome because of it. Did you ever watch Wayne World? Wayne's World? No. Sometimes I can't get her to do things. Do you have any more? Yeah. All right, I got one more. I like the Michelob Ultra one. Okay. Not because it's beer. The one with all the athletes in it, and they were talking about, are you happy because you won, or are you happy, or do you, or do you, oh my God. I, I know, it's okay. I speak. Oh, you touched that much? Yeah, it oh. was just so good. <laughs> <laughs> And you talk to me about like me caring about one, and I'm are like, Are you happy because you win, or do you win because you're happy? Well, they were talking deep. about this. They're happy that they're in the Super Bowl. Were they just mad the whole time until they win the championship? No, you play the sport because you love it so much. It makes you happy. You play you to win. Happy once you are a champ. Like, what's the point of playing? You play to win. Anytime you compete but in that's anything. That's not what it says. No, but winning is just a bonus. Like, yes, you're happy because you won. I don't know. All I know is when I won this year, I was super happy. Yes, but you like your job. You Most of the time, you're happy doing your job. And when, like, <laughs> things... Like, go your way and you get the get ultimate... An award, that makes you even happier. Because it's like sprinkles. Yeah. I like sprinkles. Like, I play soccer because it makes me happy. Winning a tournament is just icing on the cake. Makes me happier. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, the last one for me was the Cheetos commercial. Cheetos typically has a great commercial, course. and this year they did not let down. It came late in the game, and we got it. it. wasn't me. I thought having Shaggy that was in there wasn't me. I was waiting for him to pull an Eddie Murphy at, at the end and go, well, maybe it wasn't you. That's actually a skit that he sung in the song about Eddie Murphy. I think it was delirious. You've never seen it, though. No, but the commercial was funny. The commercial was really and funny. I, I think his song's funny. So. And I liked how at the end he goes, that's the first time that's ever worked. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of sad that Danny know. DeVito. Danny DeVito, yes. The little troll in there. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of sad he didn't make an appearance. In the commercials this year? Yeah. He's normally an Eminem person, so I was kind of oh, sad yeah. he didn't make an appearance. Mm. His commercials are usually pretty funny. They are pretty funny. He's a funny guy. You've you never seen Taxi before? Nope. That was his show. That was the, the thing that made him 70s man it's all about the 70s all right guys you have your assignment let us know which commercials you thought were good bad or indifferent if there is one that tugged at your heart strings and you're just like it's about beer but it really hits me over here okay we'll do <laughs> Let us know, of course. And as always, thank you so much for watching and giving us your time. Haley, we're so close to that coveted thousand, that bronze, that getting on the podium. You excited about it? It's 2021 is definitely going to be your year. Hopefully. Tell all your friends, tell all your neighbors. <laughs> Check the box. Subscribe. You don't even have to watch. You just... Just subscribe. Come on. It but watch, it's way more fun. to subscribe. <laughs> Hello. Winners want to win. It. Get the sprinkles. Yeah. All right, Haley. What I do you do say YouTube at the end of one of these? I'm happy. It makes YouTube. me happy. It does? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, as I'm over here twisting around, come on, we got to do a video. And then here's the funny part. I know I'm trying to end the show, but here's the funny part. She'll go, you have a show today, right? You have a show? You're editing your show? You're going to do a show? I'm like, we, we didn't film anything. What did you think I was going to magically pull it okay, out of my butt? This is what happens. Usually on Sundays. Which is the boring day. Yes. I say, are we filming? Like, I'm ready to film. I'm going into that Sunday knowing that it's time to film. So I get myself ready. And dad goes, no, wasn't going to. And I say, great. What a perfectly wasted Sunday. <laughs> and then but what happens On though? a random Sunday, he'll be like, we're going to film today. And I'm like, I got the worst night of sleep of my life. I don't want to be awake. <laughs> really? This is the Sunday you choose? It's always what happens. I'm going to take a note the mornings so that I change my ways. This will be my resolution for 2021 <laughs> videos. Anytime Haley says, are we filming the day? I'm just going to say yes. Yeah, I don't know why you don't. If I ask, that means... 
today's the day. It could be the best video you'll ever get from me. And here I thought I was and trying to all end the these show. Times are are wasted. Show time well, you're the one that kept talking. It's not my fault. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching, as always. We hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl, and go Bucks. Ooh. Tom Brady, you're the man. Go Tampa. You this guys was have our a, year. This was our year. You guys have a wonderful week, as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. 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 You know, if you do it enough, it'll stick. No, that's the Dolan twins. Don't watch them. Bye.